welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Capital Markets Report. Today is Wednesday, August 13, 2008. Duke Energy Carolinas is seeking regulatory approval to issue up to $2 billion in long-term debt securities and tax-exempt bond obligations to redeem higher-cost securities. According to the Charlotte Business Journal, a division of Charlotte-based Duke Energy wants to sell the securities to allow for the redemption of higher-cost securities, refund, maturing securities, and finance ongoing construction. Duke Energy Carolinas is seeking approval from the North Carolina Utilities Commission and the Public Service Commission of South Carolina. And staying with Capital Markets news, Vimplecom, Russia's second largest mobile phone operator, is in talks with banks about a securing a $1 billion syndicated loan. Proceeds will be used for general corporate purposes. According to Reuters, lenders have been invited to bid for the mandate to arrange the loan, but that the bid deadline may be extended until the consequences of the war in Georgia have been settled and been factored into the market. Vimplecon's last loan was a $3.5 billion facility that was signed in April. That deal backed the firm's $4.3 billion acquisition of fixed-line operator Golden Telecom. And in more capital markets news, Fannie Mae, the largest U.S. home funding company, said on Tuesday that it plans to sell $3 billion in new three-year benchmark notes. The notes will mature on August 15, 2011. Reuters reports that Fannie Mae hired Deutsche Bank, Lehman Brothers, and Merrill Lynch to manage the sale. The settlement is August 15. And in other capital markets news, China's Yang Su Shanda Group, which makes silicone wafers used in solar power cells, is looking to raise $1 billion dollars from a share listing in New York during the first half of next year. The company plans to invest 1.2 billion yuan in a second polysilicon plant expected to launch output in June 2009. The company expected net profit this year of 400 to 500 million yuan, rising to more than 2 billion yuan next year. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on to our Capital Markets channel online, read the full story and the latest developments.